Yeah, I don't want to go to jail for anything. I'm much too, like, weak. And you're pretty. You are listening to the Stand Up Dads Podcast. This is heck of boring. Yeah, it is. Let's try again. I don't know why, but the word dingus has been running through my head all day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're listening to Stand Up Dads. This is Rob. And Mike. And you're listening to episode 101. I guess I can stop counting now after 100 until we get close to like 500 or 1,000. Jesus Christ, I don't want to live that long. <laughs> but after that marathon that we had with keith which i loved that was one of my favorite episodes if you haven't heard it go back and listen to that do yourself a favor it's worth the uh hour and 45 minutes that it was that was a lot of fun yeah this one's gonna be more of a grab bag stuff that we couldn't fit in to make a whole episode out of and yeah. those tend to be more fun anyway you had something that happened this morning well i started trying to you know, if I want to do my comics again, I started writing down stuff finally that's happened. So I was in my room and I was on a phone call. And as I'm getting off, Olivia bangs on my door. Like, bam, 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 bam. So I run to the door and I open it like, like, what the hell happened? But I didn't say anything. I opened the door and she's in the hallway. She trips to me and she goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, you banged on my door. And she gives me an eye roll and she goes, ah, I don't need you anymore. And walks in her room. (laughs) I'm like doubly upset because one, it's like, you're driving me crazy. But the other one too is that's how quickly you don't need me. It's like, it only takes two or three seconds to go, oh yeah, I can figure it out. That's, that's how, that's about the amount of help that daddy can give, you know. (laughs) She'll need more later when it takes the time that you have to reach into your wallet. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, for a minute there, that got me totally confused. Did someone bang on your door and then them tell you what when you answer it? It was like that little pause of, wait, I didn't knock on the it's door. Like I <laughs> call you on the phone and go, what do you want? Yeah, yeah. So long, long enough for you to go like, did I call? <laughs> you called me, asshole. What do you want? Damn it. I'm getting old. Yeah. <laughs> did you have a thing where she asked for? Oh, yeah, and then another thing, what we've been dealing with as co-parents is when she's at Melissa's house, she will listen and do everything. At my house, there's every night, something will come up to stay up. So I asked her, you know, this morning, I'm like, you know that you're purposely coming up with new things each, each night just to stay up late, right? And uh, all she does is from Hamilton, she starts going, forgiveness. <laughs> so we're laughing but i'm like all right that's funny but like knock it off you know and all i can think is oh my god she's exactly like me is how i was as a kid let's see how much i can get away with it and go let's make a joke out of it (laughs) don't actually Mm -hmm. give me trouble you know (laughs) damn it Uh, well that actually brings up i wasn't expecting to do this but i'm gonna so i heard this comic the other day daniel sloss talking about liberal parents and that kind of fits into here Oh, cool. Oh, I'll let him speak for itself. It's not good having liberal parents and growing up. It's really not. Uh, especially in your teenage years, because uh, you can't rebel <laughs> against they love you no matter what. It's real f***ing annoying. <laughs> Going through my teenage years, I'm ready to stick it to the man, and my mom's just like, stick it to the person. <laughs> just... <laughs> very annoying. I remember being like 15, right? I've just, I've just got all this stupid boy test jobs, love, f***ing hate, everything. I right? just want to rebel. Go to my mum, be like, Mum, Dad, I'm gonna start drinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum would be like, Yeah. You're 15. <laughs> this is Scotland. <laughs> we were just wondering what was on, you pussy. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's all. It's Scotland. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, 15 in Scotland. You should have fucking cirrhosis by now. That's hilarious, <laughs> man. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it kind of, I remember it brings up like a, a bit where Kyle Kinane was talking about when he was like in a band and he wanted to be in a punk band. And it's really hard when you have really supportive parents. Sure, you could use our basements and let me know when you're coming down. So I'll make you snacks. It's like, <laughs> <sighs> God damn it. 
So we're on phone, man. Leave yeah. me alone. Like, hey, is your mom gonna make that thing again? She's like, man, come on. <laughs> We're angry. Like, I'm going to be mediocre thanks to your fucking support and love. God damn it. <laughs> I need something to cry about. Oh, speaking of things to cry about, I laughed when you went shopping with your kid the other day. Uh, so it's funny because I would not consider myself when you hear people talk about like being vain or something like, cause I always consider it being like, you know, Oh, getting ready, doing a bunch of stuff, whatever. But, Olivia was going on her first sleepover, right? Mm -hmm. So she wanted all new stuff for it. Therefore, I had to buy it. But she needed Melissa along to pick it because she didn't want nothing that daddy's going to pick. It's obviously not mm -hmm. going to be good, right? So we went to Ross and we, you know, she picked out all this stuff. She got herself, a, you know, more of a cooler bag, sleepover mm -hmm. bag and, you know, cool pajamas, stuff like that. And, uh, I go through the line and I'm like, oh, I got a discount. I'm like, what day is this today? I was like, is this, cause you know, it's, it's, it's so much worse now in, in quarantine to be like, it could be a holiday. Did uh -huh. I work, <laughs> did I work on accident today? And I look and I see 55 and over discount <laughs> <laughs> and I stop and I'm stunned. And it was long enough that Melissa goes, What's the matter with you? What's the matter? I'm like, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Like, Something's wrong with you. Did something happen? So then I go, ah, they gave me the 55 and over discount. She's like, oh my God, I got to call your mom. <laughs> and, then, and then she's in the car and Lee's like, what's, you know, what happened? She's like, oh, you know, she tells my mom, my mom's laughing. They're all laughing. And I'm like, oh my God. And, but my mom's like, did you um, correct them? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> I want that. I want that 10%. But I had no idea that I really was like, I don't know. It was like getting punched in the stomach. I was like, oh, it's here. And, and I look in it, you know, like that really got me. I'm like, I am, I am right on the door of that. And it got me. I bet what they thought was you were there with Melissa. They thought she was your daughter. <laughs> and they yeah, she looks so much younger yeah I mean, you you and melissa both look younger than your age yeah but she looks way younger yeah so that's hilarious they probably thought you were her dad and that was your granddaughter that you were getting stuff for. <laughs> totally uh, if it makes you feel any better i got some spam email that didn't make it into the spam folder right yeah apparently uh i qualify for the silver fox dating service <laughs> <laughs> so i can mingle with seniors and other silver foxes like myself did you did you bring it up to kim no uh no actually, because no yeah, yeah i was yeah. gonna say because she Why can't take that joke she yeah. can't take that joke yeah she'd be like oh yeah it was random it was random well yeah because the thing is usually you get ads for stuff that you look for so yeah because she yeah. asked me to buy her a bra <laughs> and I've seen nothing but bra ads. <laughs> this is true. Oh my god! Like, well, that god damn it. That happened with um on Olivia on my phone. I'll get some of those clickbait games sometimes. You know yeah. where it's like download this one, and there was one I have that's like castle, and all you're doing is doing these little physics things of trying to shoot like catapults to yeah. destroy the castle. So she starts playing it, and it pops up a um like a banner ad. Yeah, and it it says, "Are you lonely?" So she stops what she's doing to come home and go, "Hey, Dad, are you lonely?" <laughs> and we're laughing, but I'm also like, "Oh my God, man!" I was like, "She's gonna think it knows, you know, like you're dating and all that." So somehow, you know, you guys have the same sense of humor. Yeah. Oh my God, she was just like so. Every now and then, she, she'll just bust out that randomly, like, "Hey, Dad, are you lonely?" <laughs> Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> Why? You know what? <laughs> Any of your friends' moms single? single? <laughs> Send them daddy's way. <laughs> Any of your friends have older sisters? <laughs> so then, so this needs a little backstory. Oli had her cousin came over, and they had a you know sleepover. And when Oli was little, when she was a baby, she would call breastfeeding she call them her nanas mm -hmm. so like she go i want nanas i want nanas 
So that became like a joke with us that we, we still say it now, like, oh, do you need nanas? You know, like it means like bugging you, right? So they're getting ready to go. I, I let them build a fort, you know, like we talked about before, where they have, have all the PVC piping. They built a fort. They're getting ready to go to sleep. And I hear Olivia tell Ava, you're just going to play with your nanas all night. <laughs> And I go, oh, my God. I, like, open up, you know, because they have, like, sheets over. And I open up, I go, that is awful. That's totally inappropriate thing to say. I'm shocked you would say that. And they're looking at me all wide-eyed. And I was like, this is, I cannot believe you. And they pull up the na-na-na surprise doll. She goes, Daddy, it's our na-na dolls. And I'm all, ah! <laughs> And she's like, she's like, what do you mean? What did you mean by that? Why are we so bad? I'm like, Never mind. Enjoy your enjoy your play day, kids. Enjoy playing with your nanas. I felt like those. I felt like Ferris Bueller or something. Where you know, part where he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then they're like, but why were you so mad? I don't understand. I'm like, oh, I have dude. to go right now. <laughs> what the hell are nana dolls? So they're they're like new dolls that came out. That basically they're super cheap. The way they are, they're cheap. Because they're like printed on like soft fabric, okay. and their whole thing is that they're jammed into like little things. So like, when you first get them, it's almost like a little egg or something, mm-hmm. and they and they kind of pop out of it. Okay. And then she got a couple that are like backpacks. So she really likes the little toy backpack. It looks like a it's a fur covered like cat head. Okay. You open it up, it has a whole like play set in it or something. But they're called na 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 surprise, but they call them na na surprise. Got and it. I forgot about that freaking doll because it's a new doll in the mix. I, I only remember the ones that have been around for a while, you know? Is that what I have to get her for Christmas this year? You know what? It probably is one of them because I don't think that, I think that might have been something. All right. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to talk about that because there's been some crazy stuff on that. Got it. Well, talking about funny names, I found an article a while back and I never could find a time to use it. Mm-hmm. 35 funny names kids give everyday things according to their parents i'll put the link up we're not going to go over all of them but there were some of them because like and i kind of miss that he's not doing it so much anymore because he's older but owen had some great ones like well he still doesn't call trump trump he always calls him president crump <laughs> i love crump he's pretty much equating him to the principal crump from captain underpants that's awesome he does look like him And then when he was like really little, like we have a cat named Phoebe. So Mm -hmm. all cats were Phoebes. Oh, that's nice. Things like that. Yeah. You never want to correct. Yeah. So you get your nanas. Let's see this one. Nanas is a good one, yeah. My daughter calls pistachios Grinch nuts. (laughs) Like, what the fuck is that? That's a great one. Let's see this one. My daughter called the head of lettuce a salad ball. And that's forever what we call it. I'm like, that's actually pretty good. That's cool. Uh, There's one about a kid. He would ask for black juice when he wanted Coke or Pepsi. (laughs) This one I totally love because I feel the same way. According to this lady's oldest son, pants equals leg prisons. (laughs) That's a great one. Yeah. Leg prison. I start a new job on Monday and I'm going to have to wear pants because I can't get away with shorts because it's an actual management job. Nice. Oh, I fucking hate it. I don't like wearing pants. Until you, until you've been in management for a while and you make it some big thing you're doing for the employees (laughs) and to show solidarity management shall also wear shorts and an ugly Hawaiian shirt because that's what fat guys have to wear. Did you always like Hawaiian shirts or did is that something that you liked as you got older? Uh, I think it's something I liked as I got fatter. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was a time, because if you go to the fat guy store, there was, when I first got, you know, to where I had to go there. Yeah. Everything was big dog and all that bullshit. I remember big yeah, dog. It was oh all big God. dog and Hawaiian shirts. So I didn't get yeah. the big dog, but I did get the Hawaiian shirts. Oh. So they still have the Hawaiian shirts, but they have real clothes now, so. I don't have an excuse. No, they have real clothes. That's so sad. Well, I was the pissed because I remember I lost a shitload of weight a while back. Yeah, yeah. And I still had to shop at the fat guy store. It's <laughs> like, God damn it. Oh. So my goal is to be able to buy clothes at Costco again. Costco? 
tends to run small on the stuff that they carry. That's why I can't fit into their shit. Yeah. Anyway, Tracy Guru, my almost three-year-old calls the bathroom fan the poop wind. And it, (laughs) it will forever be called that in our house. I love poop wind. That's hilarious. Three-year-old son calls mustard hot dog syrup. Yes. <laughs> a boy I babysat called lasagna spaghetti cake. I like that. Mm. My daughter calls hard taco shells crunchy buns. <laughs> crunchy buns are great. Grinch nuts and crunchy buns are the ones I want to adopt. Oh, hey, you might adopt this one too. This lady's son, when he was little, would call bras booby pants. Booby pants. Walking through the underwear sh- section of shops with him was always fun experience with him yelling it at the top of his voice as it made him laugh. Booby uh, pants. Booby pants. That's awesome. Oh, that's an even better one I can say out loud when we go to the store and say, Oli, we need to get you some new booby pants. <laughs> She'll be like, Dad, stop it. Oh, I think I see your teacher. <laughs> My oldest used to call cupcakes butt cakes. Butt cakes. That's no a good one. Where he got it from? I don't know. There's a link. There's some funny ones on here. That is some good ones. Yeah, this one kid didn't know what knees were, so she called them leg knuckles. Oh, that's a good one. Well, leg actually, knuckles. Leg knuckles. Anyway, yeah, I like that. All this meandering is brought to you by Seattle Gummy Company. They are a wonderful sponsor. They give you mocha shots, which are energy gummies, which give you all the caffeine of a cup of coffee in one gummy. The caffeine will get you five times faster for half the price of a cup of coffee at one of those fancy coffee shops. They've got the dark chocolate gingerbread now. It's worth checking into. I've been kind of up late doing some proposals and stuff, so it's really helped me out through the day. That's cool. And I am so looking forward to going back to work because this whole distance learning thing is killing me. I don't know how Kim does it. So Kim, if you're listening, you're a fucking amazing. You just like to get it. Well, you know what? I think I got lucky that I'm, I feel like I'm on the eye of the storm because I think when they're younger mm-hmm. than 10, it's impossible because you got to sit there and be like basically the teacher with the teacher. Okay, talk about And then the, the high school. <laughs> oh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> stick, to the, stick to the schedule. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. You really are ready for a Monday. You're yeah. ready for a Monday. Yeah, I didn't even get to finish what I was saying. How dare you? (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, you get all the caffeine without the jitters. Mike loves the way they taste. I love the way they work. They have saved my ass. Click the link in the show notes. Put in the code STANDUPDADS15. You'll get 15% off your order. If you're on the site, after you click our link and you see they have another bonus code, put it in. You can combine codes and get save even more on your gummies. So click the link, let them know uh, we sent you there. Seattle Gummy Company, stand up dad tested and approved. Okay, so Mm -hmm. yeah, so you feel like you're in the eye of the storm because you're missing the worst of it? Well, yeah, well, it just seems like younger is impossible. Yeah. And then older seems to be, except, you know, obviously I teach online, but my school is online and has been. So the students there seem to be fine. But every other parent of mine that also has like a teenager, that's going awful. Like sure. those ones have completely withdrawn and are in like full depression mode because they yeah, can't. They're be missing all the fun shit. Stuff. Could you imagine being a senior during a pandemic? Like you don't have your all the bullshit that you get. To you do. know what? I feel like that's another thing that shows how old I'm getting because I'm kind of. Sometimes I am like so out of touch of like, oh come on, it can't be that bad. It's like I have no idea like really anymore of going that back. That was your to whole be, like, world, man. Like that went you know, awful. It went awful. Your yeah. Senior ball, the whole senior, all the well, shoot for all the underage drinking that we did back. Then. Yeah, all the yeah, all the yeah, getting to go hang out. Yeah, just the stupid stuff because you're just I don't know. I just feel yeah. like. Kids are getting gypped. Everyone, the whole fucking world is getting gypped unless you're a fucking millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so another one of these stories that just didn't fit anywhere, like to make a whole story out of, but Mm -hmm. I just couldn't wrap my head around it. So again, I'll post a link in the show notes. You can look this up. UK trans man can't be recognized as father of his child after Supreme Court declines to consider appeal. So it's just like not even a month ago. Let's see. 34-year-old transgender man wants to be put on the birth certificate as the father of his child. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the problem is he's the one that gave birth to his child. 
Oh, so he said, I get it. So, so in 2008. He changed. Uh, I don't know if then, it changed. I don't know. But if he's already on it, I thought, okay, so I got it wrong. I thought, like, they weren't letting him be on it, and he was, like, a pre-op and, no. and was the father. So he's all, he was already on it. It's not like he has no rights as a parent. He's the mom on the th on the page. But the thing is, when yeah. he gave birth, he had a gender recognition certificate that proves he's legally a man. So what? he was al he already was recognized legally as a man, but he was pregnant and had a baby because I don't know if it was uh, a pre-op pre thing or whatever. Yeah. So he wants to be on there as the father because he is a man now. So is is it one of those things where there was no father or something? Like it, it was a... I um, no, they didn't even bring it up in here. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah, they got to figure... Yeah, that's oh, a mean, tough one. It's one of those things where I guess it would be confusing, but I mean, how often do you have to use your birth certificate for anything? I know. It's like, oh, well, what was your dad's middle name? Let's see the birth certificate. Well, fuck, no one gives a shit. And it's, yeah, it's definitely more about him as a like wanting that on there as a parent i guess i just wonder if if there was a father then that kind of sucks be. like you can't both be it well no it could have been an artificial oh sure but yeah yeah I mean, someone had to yeah but I usually a, a determination have... like that's not gonna have someone on the certificate but if you're if you're booting someone off of it to be on it i think that's not too cool but see i have to educate myself on this because what do they put yes. if you are artificially inseminated do they i don't know i mean yeah they just put blank i mean because you don't there's no requirement in most yeah. states i know this isn't in the uk but i mean in the u.s yeah. i think you can get away with saying no father yeah i mean it would be weird to have just a father and no mother yeah a, yeah just because it's weird doesn't mean it's wrong yeah yeah if it so, was that i guess and that's probably my own problem there is saying like i don't i would agree with someone getting kicked off of the father thing <laughs> So yeah. them, so they could be the father, but who am I to say? Maybe you could put two fathers on there. Like, who knows? Well, he gave birth in 2018, and there's a documentary about this guy, and it's called Seahorse, named after the fish species for the one where the males give birth. Ah. So if you want to learn more about that, look into that. Click the link and email us. Tell what you think. Or if you know something about this, tell us, because I hate not knowing stuff. Yeah. And I don't want to come off as, oh, because I'm not. I really am curious how this goes. Yeah. You know, granted, to me, it's just kind of trivial to see if you're checked off as mom or dad. But I guess it is part of the identity. Yeah, I could I could see it bugging me if I was, if I, I had even, changed or something, you know, like. Yeah. But I, I just don't, I don't know enough to know, like, yeah, are you kicking someone off of that and putting yourself there now? Or um, it was it, was it? you know, by a, like artificial, then at that point, put their name on both. <laughs> it's confusing. Again, it yeah. doesn't mean the fight's not meant to be had. Yeah. You know, we wish them luck. Hopefully uh, it goes out. Okay. And I just hope it doesn't get to a point where it interferes with the kid's life. Yeah. Cause that's just when it sucks. And it's probably something where I bet if it goes straight to a court like that, they're just going to punt it. Cause they're going to be like, well, I don't already know. Shot like, it down. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So somebody else had already the shot Supreme it down. Supreme Court shot it down. Wow. So he's stuck. I don't think you have any options. I mean, in the U.S., that's it. I don't know if in the U.K. if you get the Queen to say good or something. I don't know. I guess. I guess they. It would be something where they'd have to still have the people still keep putting it on the ballots and keep putting it. It would have to go that route so that it became know. something that people like the people wanted probably. Yeah, I don't know if that works like that. I don't know if they have the initiative process over there. No. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm not a UK citizen. Yeah. Anyway, that brings us to the bad dad, but this time it's a bad mom. This was left over from another bad mom that were, when we had the bad moms a while ago. Yeah, this yeah. This one was just too dark, but I figure, hey, let's throw it in here. <laughs> and this one, she's a piece of shit so yeah. whatever she gets it's not good enough mother accused of providing suicide information to her child holy shit man this, this happened right does before she have mental illness is oh, it like a probably wow. so yeah we talked about who was it who was, did we have a guest when we were talking about the bad moms or was it I you that said it's because they're around the kids longer they go crazier and are more creative in the badness 
Um, I didn't say that, but that's a good quote. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. This is in Louisiana. This happened about just right before Thanksgiving. A Bossier city mother accused of providing suicide information to her child sits behind bars following her arrest Monday night. The mom is 31, Heather Nicole Shelton. She was booked on a charge of criminal assistance to suicide. Man. She was held on a $20,000 bond. Well, the good thing is the kid didn't do it. Detectives said she was responsible for providing the physical means and knowledge Holy on crap. how to commit suicide to one of her children. So she picked out one and said, I don't want you anymore. Oh, my God. They don't say how old the kid was, which kind of bugs me. Yeah. It's just sad. Yeah. I mean, I understand there's times you're like, God damn it. What can I do to get rid of you for a minute? Just so I could have a minute to think. What are you looking for? I was trying to find a pencil, but what happens at my house is Olivia takes all my pencils while she's working in the day. <laughs> Lovely. So as I grab pencils, I'm like, oh, that one doesn't have, that one's broken. That one's, that she one's missing. She breaks them and puts them right back in? They, oh, yeah. It's totally like, it, you know, she'll take the good ones. And well, then perhaps you should furnish her with info on how to commit suicide. Oh, my um, God. <laughs> No. Uh, what a horrible no. thing to do. I know. I mean, what a horrible thing. Yeah. I am totally kidding you guys. If you're freaking out, I would never, uh, it's just fucking awful. I used to work at a suicide prevention place. It's not a thing to, although I do joke about it in my act, but it's not, so, yeah. it's not a joking matter. <laughs> you know, some of these guys just, you know, a lot of them was just to cry for help. Yeah. This one, but I've never, I don't think I ever heard anyone that said they were told this is what you should do. Yeah. Especially by their fucking mom i just yeah it, so. yeah yeah i don't understand it i know and it doesn't qualify it to say like it's bad enough if the kid says it and they did that but if they didn't say it, it's even worse to be like hey, here's some dude. stuff to look over man the like, news is all bad out there yeah he's so much I worse i want to be in this world i have to because <laughs> of you guys but you, oh my man. god yeah you can oh my god out. Well, if someone's ever told you to do that, email us at thestandupdads at gmail.com. Yeah. Rate us, review us, subscribe. It's how we grow. We really could use the help on that. And if you want to hire someone to draw a picture of two little girls playing with their nanas, you can write to. <laughs> Nana surprise dolls. <laughs> Excuse me. You can write to Pencil for Hire. That's Pencil for Hire, Pencil, F-O-R, Hire at Instagram or Pencilforhire.com. And Mike also has a comic collection called Clumsy Love. It's got 600 comics from a strip that he ran about his life before and after having a kid. Mm -hmm. It is hilarious. I love it. You guys will too. So click the link for that. Get that. And while you're doing that, click the link for Eye of Mongombo, the graphic novel by Doug Gray. That one is hilarious. You got shit else to do because the pandemic is causing lockdowns in California again. So you got plenty of time to read this thing, and I guarantee you it'll make you smile. Again, Seattle Gummy Company, they are a wonderful sponsor. Click the link in the show notes, enter the code STANDUPDADS15, you will get 15% off your order. Send us your parenting stories, we'll send you some free samples. And finally, get my side project, The Gag on this podcast, that's run by Big Nick. We interview comics and have a great time doing it. We just did one with a comic from Stockton, and I cannot remember his name because I'm an awful person, but it went great. We had a great time on that one. That'll be coming out on Monday. How terrible. Huh? <laughs> I am a terrible person, but that's okay. I can't remember anything, man. <laughs> I just talked to him. <laughs> I got off of that, and I came on to here. So. That's, yeah, still does not matter. I would. I still think you have, like, a super memory compared to me. No, I remember shit from when we were little. I don't remember anything from now. That's still a big deal. I guess I can't remember nothing. What do you mean you guess? That's. I would like to remember things from the past. I'm just gaslighting. <laughs> None of this shit I've told you ever happened, Mike. I. You know what? And that would totally work. <laughs> it would totally work. I have to just always go like, all right. I have to go by, does it sound plausible? And pretty much anything stupid sounds like, I could have done that. Well, you remember <laughs> for that week that you worked at Mitchell Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't let me work there. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning up the goo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that note, we will talk to you guys next week. Have a great time. Have a great week. The thing I want to say is, thank you all for coming. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.